Okay, guys. So I wanted to talk to you about these Renee Hurst tires and a little bit about tires for those of you that are interested. So I went ahead and spent the money on and got these tires that are they're made by the same company as the Panaracer tires that I buy, the Gravel Kings, which are one of my favorite tires. But they're almost twice the cost. I think about $30 more. And I'm like, why would Panaracer have such a high-end tire and what justifies the cost? Well, when I wrote it yesterday, I noticed the difference. So if you look at the Rene Hurst website, you realize that Rene Hurst goes out of their way to craft a tire and go is going into the refinement of the TPI, the threads per inch fabric that used in this tire. And they get that from their, you know, their history of doing this for tubular tires. Well, they went ahead and did that fine weaving of tire and, and, and the technology they use in the, the layup that they're using for this tire into just a typical gravel tire. So you're paying for that almost handmade um, type of refinement that goes into these tires. And you notice it. You notice the supple feel, and that's what they're known for, supple. Now these are just the regular tan wall. They come in regular, they come in extra light, and they come in endurance. And some of the models come in endurance plus. So you're thinking, well, the Panaracer Gravel Kings come in those different models too, um, but I have, I've been running Gravel Kings a long time and they don't feel as supple as these. And I think it has to do with just, they refine and choose the better fabric to make these tires and, and put together the casing. And even with their endurance, they say they just um, go a little tighter weave and still doing that 120 TPI, but then it's just, has an extra uh, a, a tight weave with that. I'm not sure exactly how they do that, but that's what they say. So I just have the regular and now they're set up tubeless. I think if you're gonna use a tire and really enjoy the um, feel of that tire, you have to set it up tubeless. So setting up tubeless was a little bit tricky. I First I had to put a tube in there and I kind of sprayed a little bit of, um, of the sealant in there and then let one side seal up and then i pulled the tube out uh, after a few days and then set it up tubeless with just one side in the rear set up pretty good it really depends on your rims these rims set up tubeless really easy these are the velocity blunt ss which are actually a mountain bike xc rim from from years ago made in america and they're an xc rim that um i'm using for a gravel rim because of the 26.6 internal width. And I really think if you're gonna use gravel and use the bigger tires, you need to go wider. And so I'll show you another tire. I didn't even bring it out right now that I wanted to, um, that I'll be going bigger and I'll show that in the next video. But I wanted to do a quick video about these Rene Hurst tires. Are they worth the money? For sure, if you like the feel and you want that feel of your bike to be more refined. I've used regular 700 by 38 C um, Panaracer Gravel Kings, and these definitely feel softer and more supple. These aren't even the extra light. The extra light is gonna feel even more supple. The only thing is when you're sealing it up, you're gonna have to play around with it and let it sit there and then shake, shake that sealant around there and make sure you kind of got a coating on the inner side of these sidewalls to make sure it seals up really good because it took a couple times to get that to seal up good. Now they're fine, but they're not as easy to set up tubeless as a little bit thicker casing or, or a thicker woven tire, like a 60 TPI or something like that. So that's, that's my experience with that. The other thing I want to talk about is my shoes and the way I change my setting of my shoes. So I push that cleat all the way back. If you notice, it's all the way back. So that makes my foot go more forward on the pedal. And by going more forward, I, um, I, I'm riding a little bit more in the middle of my foot, but oh my God, I don't feel as fatigued and my calves don't get that calf burn. I just, I really loved it. And 
I'm going to have to go back to the drawing board with a custom frame to get a custom frame that doesn't have toe over with my new foot position or maybe even go with some um, shorter arm cranks or something like that. But I'm 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 toying with the idea of a new custom frame right now just because I want to run bigger tires and I don't want to have the toe over. So therein lies the issue with going with uh, bigger tires on a gravel bike. These actually measure out to 700 by 42 or 43, even though they're a, seven, uh, a 700 by 38 um, width on the label, it's that super wide rim. So I'll show you my 700 by 50 gravel racers um, Gravel King um, tires on my next video, but you'll see how well they do on a 30 millimeter internal width rim because they just really look good on a 30. So I'll probably end up going with a wider rim wheel set too. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions about the Renee Hears tires and, and you're considering getting some, um, hit me up and I'll be um, happy to answer them. I'll tell you the sealant right now I'm using is the Bontrager sealant and the tape the rim tape i think it was a i used the orange um the orange um sealant um rim tape and that's what i have on the front i can't remember what i have on the back i'm not running cush core although i do run cush core sometimes in my um, gravel wheels just if i'm having a hard time getting that tire to set up tubeless i push that that cush core in there and that does a trick so i'll talk to you guys later